The Canadian convoy has reached their parking lot. Excuse me. I mean compound. Also excuse me. Not a convoy according to some in the convoy. They are just people traveling together for safety. Sure. One person there uploaded a video showing the banquet slash meeting hall that included not one, but at least four Confederate flags in at least two separate styles. So the Canadian convoy is fully prepared for racism, I guess? Not really sure why those are there. There was some bragging about how great this location is. They say it is away from prying eyes, but if you look at the live streams, it's right next to a road. Police can just roll up for a count or follow them when they leave. Of course, they're trying to use the fact that the land is owned by a First Nations tribe as a shield, and it costs $10 per vehicle per day. Now, more people are supposed to be convoying in, because remember, they didn't want it to be all at once. This was supposed to be a big secret thing so they don't get stopped. Except now we know exactly where they're at and it's all public and it's next to a public road. So none of that makes any sense whatsoever. As you can see behind me, uh, Toronto police uh, thought the group might be heading in today and took some action. People in the convoy have been kind of laughing about tricking them. But I'm going to be honest, they've been having constant vehicle breakdowns in the convoy. So it's very likely that they plan to go in today and their vehicles simply can't do it. Yes, they were even bragging about having mechanics to fix vehicles at this compound. Um, their own failures might have just delayed them. Now, one member did go into Toronto, live streamed random people on the street wearing a mask, live streamed staring at police, got lost a few times, wandered confused, trying to figure out what Afghanistan is, yelling at squirrels, you know, what you would expect from a convoy.